Hey Calibrate Tools family, today we're going to talk about how to hang your picture frames, okay, your beautiful picture frames nice and straight and level without all the hassle that it takes to do it sometimes. And this subject is very special to me and the Calibrate Tools team because we created a tool called the Exact Tack Picture Hanging Tool to help you do just that. So stick around and I'll show you how it works right after this. <music> Okay, so before we actually get into hanging the picture frame, I just want to show you guys something here. There's something wrong with this picture, right? No pun intended. But the previous owner of the picture frame had the wire, which is not even a wire, it's actually a shoelace, hanging from the staples that actually keep the canvas in the frame. See right there? You don't want to do that, guys. Very, very dangerous. Those staples are not that sturdy if the weight of the picture frame is hanging on them, okay? They'll come out really easily. Now, fortunately, that did not happen with this picture frame, but you don't want to do something like that, okay? You want to have uh, the appropriate hardware, like D-rings, fastened to the frame itself and the wire connecting to the D-rings, all right? You don't want to do this. So we're going to go ahead and correct that situation but I'm gonna lay the frame on a flat surface like my table right here and take care of it. But before I do that, I make sure I put down a piece of soft material, okay? So it won't damage the frame. If you're laying down a canvas, put down some soft material as well because there's no frame to protect the canvas from you know, lint or anything like that, even from the soft material or whatever you put down. Just make sure you put down something soft so you can protect your frame from damage. So we're gonna go ahead and take that shoelace out of there. I'm gonna get ready to install our D-rings. These are the D-rings right here, okay? First thing we wanna do is take a measuring tape and measure the length, the vertical length of your frame. So we got about 24 and three quarter inches on the vertical side of the frame. So we can either put our D-ring one third of the way down which will bring us to about eight and uh, a quarter inches. Or we can bring it about a fourth of the way down, which will be about six inches. If we bring it down six inches or a quarter of the way down, then the top of the frame, as we lay it against the wall, will be more flush against the wall. If we bring it down a third of the way down, about eight and a quarter inches, it'll have that little space as it leans off the wall a little bit. So whatever your preference is, just remember the higher the D-ring, the more flush against the wall that the frame will be. The lower, then you'll have it lean away from the wall a little bit. Okay, so I decided to bring my D-rings a quarter of the way down instead of a third of the way. Now, what I wanna do is measure the width of this because I wanna center my D-rings right in the middle of this leg here. So I got about one and three eighth inches. So what's half of that? That's about 11 sixteenths, okay? Half of the way across. So I marked it right there, and that's where I wanna put my first D-ring. Now I suggest that you drill a pilot hole to make it easier to screw your D-rings in. So I would take a very small drill bit, probably the smallest one in your drill bit set, stick it in your drill, and it's okay to stick it all the way in because you don't want it too long because if it's too long, you run the risk of piercing the frame and the drill bit going out the other side. So you wanna stick it in all the way. Apparently this one is too small the chuck won't even grip it, even though it's closed all the way. So, that was a 1 16th. I went one more size up to a 5 64th, and the chuck grips this one fine. So what you can do is test to see how far the drill bit pierces your frame. This one doesn't go all the way, so we should be safe. But we don't have to drill it all the way anyway. We just need to create a small pilot hole, maybe about that much in, and that should be all you need. Okay, so when you install your D-ring, you wanna install it on this flatter side here. You see where it curves up right here? You want that to be facing you or facing outward, not towards the frame. Now that's pretty obvious based on the position of the screw head, right? The screw head's this way, so that means the flat side's this way, and you're gonna be screwing that way, right? But for some odd reason, if you lose the screw, or you know it comes out for whatever reason, and you wanna know how to put it back in, just make sure that the screw head 
is on the same side as this curved portion. See that? And this is the side that'll be contacting the frame. So you wanna put this flat part on the frame and you wanna tilt the D-ring slightly up like that. That'll take pressure off the wire when it's taut. So let's go ahead and install that. I got my Phillips head drill bit installed in the drill. You can put your drill on a lower gear so it won't strip your screw head. So now that we have our D-rings installed, it's time to install the wire. So I got about a six foot length of wire here. So what we want to do is take the end of our wire, put it through the underside of the D-ring, bring it over, fold it around, Bring it over and through the top side of the D-ring. Then you can start twisting this part around this here. Once you twist it around a few times, maybe three or four times, you can snip off the end of the wire right here because you don't want this sticking out. It's very sharp and it will pierce your skin very quickly and easily. So you take your wire snippers, Let's go ahead and wire the other D-ring up. So you wanna take the other end of the wire, place it on the underside of the D-ring, bring that wire through. So you don't wanna tie off the wire when the wire is straight across like this. You wanna give it some slack, okay, for it to hang properly. So you wanna raise the apex of the wire up, say, to right about here, right? And then you wanna crimp off the wire right there. Just squeeze the wire, create a crimp in it so you have a reference point. So now you can look at the excess wire and decide where you want to cut it off. Let's just say right about here. And we may have to cut off some more, but we're going to cut it off right here right now. So like we did before, we just bring it around. And bring it over. and then twist. Now we can cut that excess off. Looks like we're ready to hang something. As you guys know, one of the biggest issues that you have when hanging pictures is finding out where to put your nail or your hook to hang your wire on. Now this is our flagship offering, the Xactac Picture Hanging Tool. It's been copied, it's been counterfeited. But you know what? It solves that problem with ease. That's why it's been copied and counterfeited because it does what it says. It locates where to put the nail on the wall so you'll be hanging your pictures accurately 100% of the time. Now when hanging your picture frames, you can either hang it on two nails or you can hang it on one nail. And the Xactac picture hanging tool gives you that option. You could either hang it on the two outside hooks for two nails or you could hang it on the middle hook for one nail. So let's do two nails. You want to take your wire and hang it on the two hooks like that. Once it's on there, lift the frame off the ground to make sure the wire is taut and you want to unloose this and bring this slider down to the top of the frame and then lock it in. Now that that distance is locked in, you know exactly where to put your nails and Xactac helps you with that as well. You simply take your nails. Stick it in the slots, and Xactac even holds the nails for you. With your nails installed, place the tool on the wall with the slider representing where you want the top of the frame. Make sure that it's level. 
and then tap your nails in enough for them to hold. Once you started the nails in, you can remove the tool. And if you use these things, these picture hooks, you can install them in the exact tag picture hanging tool as well. Just put them in the slot up against the wall and just tap them in from there. For hooks like these with a heavier weight capacity, just place them in the middle slot. So in spite of all the ups and downs to get exact tag to market, the copying, the counterfeiting, the supply chain issues, it's been a labor of love and I'm glad to say that it's American made. So guys, if you learned something from the video and you appreciate what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button and go pick up an exact tag today. It's a great gift item. See you next time.